Although numerous reports have explored the role of artificial intelligence in EUS, the concept of application in real-time procedures remains unproven. Generic application of AI in EUS can be challenging because image movements are rapid, variations in anatomy are numerous, and sonographic artifacts are common. Also, the same image generated by different processes carry significant variations. Despite these limitations, should such concept become a reality, very small tumours missed by human error can be reliably identified, and an EUS examination can be performed by any endoscopist, not just a trained endosonographer. Orlando Health has made significant financial and capital investments to fulfil this unmet need. With a total of three high-end and three compact processes from Fujifilm, Pentax and Olympus, housed at the Digestive Health Institute, Orlando Health is uniquely positioned to meet this challenge. Using convolutional neural network, derived from large datasets, an AI-driven algorithm has been developed and is being tested in real time to identify pancreatic pathology that potentially can be missed during routine exams, thereby shortening procedural duration while at the same time enhancing diagnostic accuracy. This technology is now being validated clinically at Orlando Health for pancreatic cancer screening in high-risk patients and in difficult-to-diagnose cases. Our objective is to use artificial intelligence to screen and detect pancreatic cancer in its earliest stages so that it can lead to curative surgical resection. Case in point, the 64-year-old asymptomatic patient with an episode of acute pancreatitis eight weeks previously had a normal CT of the abdomen and an unrevealing EUS examination at an outside facility. At EUS, the patient had significant chronic pancreatitis and an ill-defined hypoechoic area measuring less than 15 millimeters was seen in the pancreatic head region. That was also successfully identified as a mass, which was highlighted in red by artificial intelligence. Final biopsy of the hypoechoic area with a 22 gauge Francine tip FNB needle revealed adenocarcinoma. The patient was referred for a Whipple procedure. In the same patient, a synchronous 5 mm sized mass was also identified in the tail of the pancreas that was also detected on AI. Likewise, this 81-year-old patient with an ill-defined lesion on MRI in the pancreatic antenate region was identified to have an 11 mm sized cyst on EUS that was highlighted in blue by AI consistent with a branch duct IPMN. This case highlights the potential usefulness and indispensability of this technology whereby even small tumours could potentially be identified even by non-experts, leading to optimal outcomes and procedural standardisation, which has eluded the discipline of endosonography for a long time. We believe this innovation may be one small step in Orlando, but a giant leap for endoscopy. To know more about our cutting-edge clinical research, please visit our website at orlandohealth.com forward slash DHI.